We're out for a walk in town and this monument here, um, the, oh gosh. Okay, try this again. The Carboneer Post Office was destroyed by fire June 25th, 1904. And this monument was put up in memory of, I don't know how to pronounce this name, Trifina or Trifina Nickel, the post mistress who gave her life at the post office fire in heroic and successful effort to save the lives of others. That's sad and kind of cool at the same time. Old post office museum, but we have to dog, so we probably can't go in. And the Her Heritage Society. And the view from here. Cool. Carboneer Railway Station. And the Railway Museum. Freight and passenger station. Rare surviving example of station design from the heyday of railway construction under the Reed Newfoundland Company. Built in 1917. On the site of an earlier structure, the station remains the northern terminus of the Brigus Junction to Carboneer Branch Line until the cessation of passenger trains in 1984. No more trains in Newfoundland. promenade around the ponds Carbonier won the tidy towns in 2003, 2012, 2013, and 2016. But they haven't mown the grass in a while, so I guess it's no longer tidy. <laughs> oh, you can fish in this pond? There's a guy here fly fishing. I don't know why there's a giant 75 there because um, the town of Carboneer is what 400 500 years old <laughs> two ducks nope we don't have food for you pigeons Pigeons and ducks living in peace together. So this one comes in from the sea under this bridge and under there. Which then goes to that little thing over there. Oh, there's a bird with a big pointy beak. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Long legs, long pointy beak. If anybody knows, let us know. And a couple more ducks. There's a little park over there. You can have a seat and picnic table with the ducks. Oh, on a parking lot.
and a pigeon on the walkway. Where are you, what are you doing? Oh, no, sniffing the poops. Another picnic table. And a bench over there. More tables. There's Carboneer Island. George Earl Promenade, boardwalk distance 0.974 kilometers. That's way far. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Now we're just on the other side of the pond. Oh, look at those pretty flowers. <laughs> and this is the campus for the College of North Atlantic. North Atlantic. It is about the size of my high school and that was not very big. You know what we haven't seen? Yeah. We haven't seen any Canada geese. No. <laughs> None. They're everywhere else on the planet. Why would they not be in Newfoundland? Hello birds. How are you? Y'all good? Short. Oh, shit. I just sat in bird poop. <laughs> They're big here. The male is huge. <laughs> There's a nice apple tree. It's like someone's been down there harvesting. Constable Samuel Ambrose Jeffers, 1927 to 2000, Newfoundland Constabulary Badge 124. In tribute of his service as a motorcycle police officer who was seriously injured in a motor vehicle accident while on duty September 18, 1957, and was hospitalized until his passing, Constable Jeffers was from Freshwater Carboneer. The first Chinese immigrants to Newfoundland were Fong Choi and Sito Hing, arriving August 18, 1895, on board the SS Polino. Fong family were originally from Toisan, Guangdong, and the surrounding villages. My Aunt Jean served in the Canadian Army in World War II here in Newfoundland. I don't know like where exactly, um, 
but because it was then still part of Britain, she got a medal for serving overseas. Yeah. During the winter of 1697, after French raiders had laid waste most of the English settlements in Newfoundland, the residents of Carboneer and surrounding communities entrenched themselves on Carboneer Island. From here, they repelled repeated attempts to take the island and for a brief time were virtually the only holdout against the French domination of Newfoundland. Carboneer Island was successfully defended again in 1705 by local inhabitants led by William Pine of Carboneer against a French force from Placentia, which had pillaged the coastal fisheries. And the Vikings have the reputation for pillaging, not usually the French. U.S. Army served from here. Ooh, Swain could be related. Guess Harvey's family didn't like that they used Harvey? a tiny gun. Are you the new Carboneer gunner? Avalon Telephone Company is now Dark Star Coffee. She hasn't noticed it yet. I guess one of the fishers lost a crab and she hasn't seen it yet. I don't know how she hasn't smelled it. Smells like fish. See something over there. Might be. Oh, it is jellyfish. Ew. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I see a couple of them and some little itty bitty something or others. Yep. Ugh. Okay, I don't know if you can see one, but there's one right about there, and they're down there. 
Like, look at it, it's huge. And ugly. Ugh, there's so many of them here. Ew. <laughs> that one's not so big, but this one down here. Like, look at the size of that thing. It's about the size of a basketball. Ugh. And I can see all the tendrils mm -hmm. under it. Would not want to get stung by any of those. Ugh. I don't, yeah, she's just looking at the boat. Look at it! Cindy was like, what? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Ugh. Seriously getting the willies. <laughs>